The goal of uh, our research is really to understand how all the singing voice qualities are produced. Um, Catherine uh, has developed this uh, her, her complete vocal uh, technique um, and through listening and from experimenting in producing these and, and uh, these v various sound qualities, she has a good understanding of, uh, of how she thinks they're produced, but obviously she's not had the benefit of looking down to see, you know, is the, uh, uh, are the vocal folds doing what she thinks they're doing, for instance, and um, so this is really just to say, are there patterns that we can understand and really support, uh, you know, uh, if possible, or refute, you know, what sh she thinks is actually going on. <laughs> Catherine um, has hypothesised how sounds are produced uh, in, and she's been right in, uh, I would say, probably 90 to 95 percent of cases. There have been a few things that um, she, um, uh, we've we found that are slightly different from the way she thought they were produced. And we'll carry on finding new things all the time, uh, particularly about some of the subtleties. But by and large, um, I've been very impressed about how she's managed to link what she's heard very much to how she thought it would appear in the throat. And, uh, and, you know, and also, uh, I was pleased to see that the idea of that these modes in particular and some of the effects uh, are produced in fairly consistent, uh, uh, reproducible um, uh, ways. Um, and that's been very encouraging. One thing that impressed me with, um, uh, with Catherine's um, complete vocal technique was that it had a very clear uh, structure to it. Um, she describes um, having the support uh, for the voice, uh, necessary twang, and then to avoid the protruding of the, the jaw and tightening of the lips, and as a basic uh, setup. And then she described these four modes, um, which you choose, and then you can adjust the sound colour, and then you can add in the effects. And to me, um, being um, someone who's not familiar with singing, that uh, seemed to me uh, that it, it, it should um, allow um, us to be able to study this. Um, because if this was true, then you, and you produce certain sounds, they should be produced in the same way, and we should see the same patterns, because it's at the end of the day, it's down to um, uh, the physics of how sound is produced. So I was very keen to, uh, to explore this um, because um, my interest in, in the voice and seeing patients with, with problems and understanding a bit more about how voice is produced and particularly the singing voice. <laughs> Catherine and I met um, quite a few years ago now. Uh, I heard her present this uh, at a conference and uh, we chatted afterwards and said it would be nice to collaborate. And nothing much happened for a, for a year and then we met again and we said we really must uh, uh, get together and, uh, and we agreed that I would bring um, my equipment and come over to uh, Copenhagen and uh, Catherine uh, said she would uh, uh, encourage some of her uh, singing teachers to uh, be uh, subjects for, for a research study. And so in 2007, uh, uh, I came over here and we spent a week um, doing some very detailed uh, studies um, on um, the singers and singing teachers. And we got some fantastic uh, data um, and we spent the last uh, five years uh, going through it because there was so much and so much new and interesting um, uh, 
uh, findings. And um, we've presented this at uh, various uh, conferences and uh, we're uh, and it's helped uh, Catherine as well to um, uh, to uh, explain things to her, uh, to new singers and singing teachers and also to uh, support her ideas which she developed really from her own um, um, uh, listening uh, to the sounds that people produce and analyz analyzing singers and herself um, and then trying to work out how it, how it felt inside and what she and she looked at the anatomy and thought well this must be happening and but she didn't have the benefit of uh, the endos endoscopic sort of um, evaluation so it's been great fun uh, and extremely interesting uh, for us to get together and collaborate on this and uh, uh, you know, um, working with someone um, uh, like Catherine has been um, very uh, informative uh, and, and also extremely good fun. extremely hard work uh, when we come over here we work uh, uh, long hours but it's never uh, I don't consider it as work it is just so enjoyable uh, and uh, to work with Catherine um, because uh, she has such enthusiasm and um, you know we find new things and we discuss things and we both have a passion uh, and different things to contribute to uh, the understanding and um, and that's why it's been so fruitful, I think. <laughs>